You are now listening to the Unshakable Health Podcast with Dr. Thomas Hemingway. All right. <laughs> Welcome back. It is a crazy day, a crazy week. Uh, I'm grateful to be alive. I'm telling you, it was a lot of fun being in Mexico. Viva Mexico. I was there for their Independence Day, September 15th. And then right when I got back, we had Constitution Day here at home in the US of A. And what a blessing. We are so blessed to be in this country that has a constitution that is living and if you don't know what I mean, I mean, look, there's 20, what, six, seven amendments. <laughs> it's, it's a living document. It has so much good stuff in there. And I'm just so grateful to be in this beautiful country. I'm grateful for that uh, opportunity that I've had over the years to travel many places, many countries, visit many beautiful people. And not only did I get to eat amazing food, which is one of my favorite things to do. Most of those that do know me know I'm a little bit of a foodie in the fact that I just love to sample cuisines from every place. And this past week in Mexico was no exception. I probably overdid it. I think I was on the 4,000 calorie a day plan, but I was working it. Uh, for those that were there with me, those that saw me, I was, geez, exercising like four hours a day while I was there. So that 4,000 plus calories that I was grinding and tacos, so many different tacos and so many amazing things, tamales, all local, all done, ah, fresh, amazing, amazing stuff. But I was out there on this thing called an e-foil, an electric foil board. It's got a little motor and I'm hovering above the water and I just put in some laps. I was getting a couple hours in the morning, a couple hours in the afternoon, midday, and then sometimes even a third session at sunset. It was an amazing trip. Uh, logged in a bunch of hours doing some e-foiling, which was was a real treat. I don't get to do that very often. And uh, uh, yeah, it was humbling at first, but once I kind of got reminded of how to do it, I've done it before. It uh, it all came back and it was so much fun. So uh, here, here goes my hats off to all you guys who try new things. I am in my 50th year of life and I'm still trying new things. I certainly never had done e-foiling until about a year or two ago. It's kind of a newer thing that I've been doing. I, I tried the regular foil a couple of years back, have a few of those surf foils. Um, but the whole, the whole motor part, that was kind of a, a new little nuance, getting used to the controller. You have a little remote control that's super fun. You can speed up, you can slow down, and it can buck you off very easily as well when you're not used to it. But so much fun, and my hat goes off to everybody who's doing new things, trying new things, because you can always be learning, you can always be growing, because that is not only what keeps you thriving, but it just makes life a lot of fun. And uh, I think we're here to have fun and we're here to have joy, joy in our life, joy in our contribution, joy with our families, with my favorite vitamin, vitamin C for connection. Ah, just uh, a beautiful time last week. Got to connect a bunch with my wife, she and I, and then also a bunch of folks from work got to hang out and just kind of have some downtime, kind of some chill time, some time to uh, mastermind, some time to take it easy, chilling on the beach, and then, you know, plus three or four hours of foiling a day, which was super fun. <laughs> but I'm back. I'm back actually in the mountains of Utah um, here with family. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't waste any time. I got right back in and I played some pickleball with my kids and I, I kind of blew it. I, I, I didn't have any, um, any good uh, tennis shoes. I had some old shoes and I slipped and I actually broke my ankle 24 hours ago, which for me is a first. I've broken both arms. I've broken my elbow, my wrist, a couple fingers. I've never, knock on wood, broken a lower extremity until now. And it, I'm telling you, it sucks to not be able to walk. I, I could barely sleep last night. I, I was really in a bunch of pain. And, you know, being the resistant, you know, like, ah, I'm tough. It's all good. It's fine. Um, my wife didn't even know what had happened. She asked me to go for a walk with her. And stupidly, I didn't tell her because I just love that time with her. I love to walk around the block and just smell the fresh pine trees and nature. And maybe we'll see a deer or a moose or, or just the chipmunks and squirrels. It's all good. And I, I walked stupidly, even with a broken ankle. I didn't know it was broken at that point because I hadn't done any x-rays. But when I, <laughs> I couldn't walk when I got home and I couldn't sleep last night because of the throbbing pain and the black and blue and the swelling, I thought you know, I don't have x-ray vision yet. I better go check this out. And I uh, got some x-rays today and 
I fractured my silly ankle. I can't even believe it. So <laughs> for the first time ever, I'm podcasting sitting down. I think this is the first episode. We are almost at 150 episodes. I have always podcasted standing on my feet. And so this time I'm sitting down. <laughs> and for those of you uh, watching over on YouTube, you will see I have crutches in the background because they help me get up and down out of my chair and up and getting around on these silly crutches. And they're not awesome. So I don't know if you've ever used crutches, but not my favorite thing, but I'm grateful that they help me to be somewhat mobile. So today I'm so grateful. I'm so pumped for an episode that is near and dear to my heart. It's about a topic that I think is so critical, so important. For me, it's been, been a total game changer. I've learned so much in this area in the last 10 years, both by practical experience from what I've been doing, as well as tons of research, tons of reading, because as a physician and really a scientist, I'm all about the data, I'm all about the evidence. I wouldn't want to do something that's not evidence-based. And so we're going to get into some cool talk on supplements here in just a minute and what I've learned in the last decade when I've really been focusing on this because I always was under this belief and impression that you can get everything you need from food. Well, guess what? In the year 2023, it is not possible, as the Europeans say, not possible <laughs> to get all of the nutrients, micronutrients, the, the minerals, all of those things from our food. It's just not possible anymore. Sadly, our soils are depleted. There's so many reasons that we can't do this. I'll share with you a quote in just a bit on this, but I can't wait to get into this fun, fun chat about supplements and if you're one of those folks that has not been on any supplements in your life, or maybe you just have not tried the specific supplements that I take or that I recommend, or the, the ones that I've been taking consistently for about eight years now, because it has really been such a game changer that I wouldn't want it any other way. It's literally part of my food uh, budget to have a couple of key critical supplements that I take each and every day. And if you don't know much about my regimen, what I'm taking, uh, feel free to message me. I would love to see it. You can message me over on Instagram, DR, that's Dr. DR Thomas Hemingway, over on Facebook, Thomas Hemingway, because if you want to trial my supplements that I take each and every day, I will actually give you two months or 60-day coaching with myself and my wife, Brooke Hemingway, who is also masterful and genius in the topic of supplements. We're going to talk in this 60 days all about the key needle movers in your life which of course you know because you already have my book hopefully and I'm holding it up here if you're watching on YouTube, Preventable, Five Powerful Practices to Avoid Disease and Build Unshakable Health. And if you haven't gotten that yet, you have to because it has those essential topics that will be the needle movers in your life, how to prevent disease and how to live your life each and every day thriving with that energy, that chutzpah, that oomph, that get up and go that you just so much want and desire and if you want to trial my supplements for two months, you can get this program, first time ever that Brooke and I have offered, this 60-day coaching program for free. We're retailing it, and we are also putting it out there for anybody who wants to jump on who might already be taking our supplements. You can actually purchase the program as well. If you want to know more, please message me over there on Instagram, Dr. Thomas Hemingway, or on Facebook, or send me an email. Aloha, A-L-O-H-A, surf, S-U-R-F, doc, D-O-C, aloha, surf doc at gmail.com because we'd love to get you access to this amazing program. First time we've ever done this. We had the kickoff uh, call last week. We even did it while we're in Mexico. That's how committed we are. And we have a 60-day program in store for you. Eight more uh, amazing calls. We're doing these calls once a week, and they are jam-packed. They are information-filled. You'll be able to ask questions on those calls. You'll have access to our chat, which goes every day. I jump into that chat. I answer questions. I... Ah, oh, it's so much fun. I look forward to that chat. And so if you want to get access to that, message me over there on Instagram or email me message me on Facebook. I'd love to have you get in that. We're limited to only 30 people. And so there are a couple of spots left and we will close it by Thursday because we're having our next call. And we want you to have access to these live calls as well. If you miss them, they will also be recorded and you'll jump into that and get access to the recording. But uh, you only have a couple days left to jump in and participate in our 60 day coaching. So message me for more info. And without further ado, I wanted to share, actually, I got so tickled today because I got a message from somebody 
over there on Facebook by the name of Heather. And she, she says this, she says, I just wanted to tell you about how much I like your book so far. I'm only 50 pages in, but your compassion and positivity really comes through in your writing. I really enjoy your podcast, not only for the information, but for your upbeat personality just makes you happy listening to them. Oh my gosh, Heather, this is gold. I, I just appreciate this so much. All this comes through in your book. I've been saving your book to read on vacation. I just started reading it this morning. And just because you always tell people, what you're up to, I'm going to tell you. And she just mentioned some of her travel plans. So much fun to see that from you, Heather. If you want to drop that over there on either um, Amazon, make a review for my book, Preventable, or over there on uh, Apple Podcasts. I would love to see it there as well. Because that's what moves the needle, guys and gals. That's how people can find out about us. Like uh, Miss uh, Hottie 95503 shares a five-star review over on Apple. She says, uplifting and inspiring I love listening to all the great information you bring to the podcast. You are so uplifting and your upbeat and outgoing personality shine throughout the day. Your positive attitude is contagious. I visit Hawaii each and every year and uh, it brings me happy memories. So thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing that, Miss Hottie95503. Appreciate you so much. And if you haven't done so, please do it. Hop on there today to either Apple or wherever you get your podcast. Rate it, review it, drop me a review, tag me over on Instagram, wherever you uh, do your social media. I'd love to see that make sure you drop a review for the podcast unshakable health as well as the book preventable available still over on amazon i'm so grateful for that such a powerful book and i'm so grateful for people like heather that are telling me about it just make sure you also drop a review because that is how we move the needle that's how folks get access to this information that's how they find out about amazing things like what we're going to be talking about today. Today, our topic is supplementation, to supplement or not to supplement. That is the question, and I can't wait to share with you my experience over the last decade where I've really been focusing a lot on this because I used to be of the mindset and belief that present day, you should be able to get it from your food, right? We have organic food. We have all kinds of amazing foods, which as I mentioned in the prelude, I love to be able to um, access when I'm traveling. I love to drink the local cuisine uh, and also, you know, the local drinks and the local stuff and eat all the yummy, colorful foods. The variety is the spice of life. That's the always been my mantra. Eat all of the things, the whole rainbow, add more than subtract. And that's what you'll find as you read my book. There's really only the big three that I tell you to avoid, right? And you'll have to grab that from the book. I've shared it many times here. The big three things to avoid and then all of the things to add, add more than subtract. Ah, it's such a beautiful, beautiful way to approach life because there's so many things out there to be able to try and experiment with and sample and all these amazing foods, delicacies, and just local cuisines around the world that are so dang tasty, delectable, d delicious, and nutritious, right? So I'm going to share with you a little bit of an approach on supplementation. I'm actually going to share with you some of the words from my new book, which most of you have heard about, I hope by now, Preventable, Five Powerful Practices to Avoid Disease and Build Unshakable Health. <laughs> and I'm going to get into that with you right here, right now, after I actually take a little sip of one of my favorite supplements here. Give me one moment. And uh, sorry about that. I just got a really dry <laughs> throat coming from 90, <coughs> excuse me, 90 plus percent humidity in the uh, Yucatan <coughs> Peninsula. Uh, last week we were uh, in the Cancun area, excuse me. <coughs> and it was blazing hot. It was 90 plus degrees every single day. <laughs> and 90 plus <laughs> percent Humidity, it was crazy. I just sweat like a fiend. Oh my goodness. Believe it or not, even in the water, while I was riding this board, I had sweat dripping down my back. <coughs> Hard to believe that you could sweat being out in the water, but I'm telling you, that's just the way it is down there. It's crazy. So in any case, one of the things I had to do was pay really special attention to hydration and that's not something we're going to get into in this podcast. I did a whole podcast episode on that. But my belief now is more solidified than ever of that key concept of hydration, but also adding electrolytes. So 
Uh, it's something I didn't used to do until a few years back. And I'm telling you, it's been a game changer. It got me going. Like I was telling you, I was exercising like four hours a day. Take, uh, it was just incredible burning tons of calories, but feeling good. Actually, I, I got almost zero muscle cramps despite exercising four hours a day. And this, this is a unique, I don't typically exercise four hours a day, but I had the opportunity last week and it was beautiful. I was on the water. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I was like the proverbial, you know, kid in the candy store or whatever that analogy euphemism that you use. But I was, I was tickled each and every day. And so let's get into it. Let's talk about to supplement or not to supplement because that is the question. I want to share with you a real important quote by Dr. Linus Pauline. You may have heard his name, Pauling. He's a two-time Nobel Prize winner. And he says, quote, you can trace every sickness, every disease, and every ailment to a mineral deficiency. And he was around quite a while ago. <laughs> and he recognized the importance of having these nutrients, the minerals, the vitamins, the, the micronutrients. And so... Here's the, here's the way it goes, guys. In a perfect world, without pollution, stress, chemical exposures from pesticides, herbicides, plastics, or EMF, electric and magnetic field exposure, and with perfectly grown natural foods from the richest soil, supplementation likely would not be necessary. On this planet, we call Earth an awesome place, by the way. Though far from perfect, these conditions don't currently exist. Thus, supplementation is not only helpful for optimal health, but to some degree necessary. It has been shown for years that our soils are rapidly becoming deficient in many nutrients. And given the industrialized agricultural techniques that have been employed over the last several centuries, monocrop agriculture, machine-based tilling, widespread pesticide use, etc., this is no surprise. A very interesting article from a Senate report back in 1936, reported on this topic and discussed the corresponding work by a physician named Dr. Charles Northern. Dr. Northern became so passionate about the importance of healthy soil being paramount to human health that he largely left his medical practice to develop techniques for improving soil health in order to thereby improve human health. This was 1936. In the 1936 report, it was said of him, this quiet, unbollywood pioneer and genius in the field of nutrition demonstrates that countless human ills stem from the fact that the impoverished soil of America no longer provides plant foods with the minerals and elements essential to human nourishment and health. To overcome this alarming condition, he doctors sick soils and by seeming miracles raises truly healthy and health-giving fruits and vegetables. So he, like Dr. Linus Pauling, were on point with the issue that our soil is rapidly becoming depleted. It was even going this way way back when in 1936. That's coming up on 100 years and not too long. And sadly, this is no better today. Our soils are even more deplete. And we need to replete the, the nutrients into our diet. So Dr. Northern was point on point with his approach. He was ahead of his time. Healthy people come from healthy food, which comes from healthy soil. Unfortunately, his honorable mission largely fell upon deaf ears in the U.S. Senate. And though it has been known for nearly a century that our soils are depleted of many minerals and nutrients, very little has been done about it. This is thus an even greater reason for us to seek the highest quality, best sourced foods available. Besides the fact that most of our food is lacking sufficient vitamins and minerals, many of us also eat processed foods. Think anything in a bag or box or with a barcode or a label. These foods may certainly be calorie rich, but are often very nutrient poor. In fact, most of the processed foods we are familiar with Nearly all processed and packaged snack food, bread, pasta, cereals, etc., are basically devoid of any appreciable amounts of nutrients. Just think about it. Why else would they have to be, quote, fortified? This is a true double whammy. They are calorie-rich and nutrient-poor. Think about that. 
Not only are processed foods making us fat, containing highly inflammatory ingredients with flour, sugars, and seed oils, they have next to nothing as far as true nutritional value. I believe this is a grave problem in our society. We are calorically overfed with processed foods and at the same time, seriously undernourished. One might say we are quite literally starving for nutrients in a sea of plenty. It has been suggested that part of our overfed diet may be due to insatiable craving for more nutrients since most of the processed food we consume is devoid of them. Our body seeks more and more calories in an attempt to fill its nutrient void, therefore filling our vitamin and mineral gaps with higher quality foods and appropriate supplements may be crucial to meeting our health and nutrient needs and will likely lead to more energy, less cravings, vitality, and better health. Speaking to this need for supplementation, a well-known and respected physician who has done a lot of work in this area over the years, Dr. Mark Hyman, has shared a pearl of knowledge that is certainly worth mentioning. He suggests, even with the perfect diet, the combination of many things, including our depleted soils, the storage and transportation of our food, genetic alterations of traditional heirloom species, and the increased stress and nutritional demands resulting from a toxic environment make it impossible for us to get the vitamins and minerals we need solely from the foods we eat. This is strong language stating that it's not only difficult, but impossible, impossible to get all the necessary vitamins and minerals we need solely from food. I'd add, however, that this doesn't mean we shouldn't try. Food first has and always will be my mantra, then supplement to fill in the gaps as needed. I realize it may be easier to simply take a pill, be it medication or a supplement for X, Y, or Z health issues or deficiencies, but I submit it is absolutely necessary that we treat our food truly as medicine. Striving to get the most out of a natural, healthy, unprocessed, and well-sourced whole foods diet. Food, honestly, is the best and most frequent medicine we can give to ourselves. And we deserve this. And if we optimize it, we will profoundly profit, both in our enjoyment of many delicious and nutritious natural whole foods and reap their huge health benefits. Therefore, as I mentioned previously, I use the food first mantra and start by building my diet with a vitamin and mineral rich, fresh and unprocessed, natural, real whole foods, making up the difference with supplementation. Remember, supplements should really be treated as their name suggests, supplemental and should come after a natural, real, well-sourced food diet. And, fill, and to fill in the gaps. When getting the most out of our diet, we should carefully choose our foods from the best sourced and of the highest quality available in our local markets while realizing there may be some deficits. Yet, it is important to remember that deficits are common and thoughtful supplementation can help fill in the gaps. But in no way should supplements take the place of a healthy, natural, high-quality, and well-sourced real food diet. In the same way that no amount of exercise can ever make up for a crappy diet, no amount of supplementation can either. Remember, choose food first and then fill in the gaps. Now we have accepted that supplementation may be necessary, so what does the average person need? I'll try to keep to the point here because a lengthy supplement discussion is far beyond the scope of this chapter, and indeed in this book, I'd also like to discuss your nutrition, diet, and supplement needs with your personal healthcare or nutrition provider to tailor a plan that fits you. To give you a basic foundation, however, I will provide the short list or the biggest bang for your buck supplements, which most of us can benefit from right away. Keep in mind, first, that the quality of the supplement matters. Try to look for those that are well-sourced. Supplements 
preferably coming from real food plants and uh, plants, uh, real food plants such as vegetables or fruits, well-sourced animal products, whether uh, whenever possible. These well-sourced supplements that come from living organisms, plants, and animals are going to be better utilized by the body than a synthetic any day of the week. Many top-selling vitamins and supplements are synthetically bulk produced in similar chemical labs that may that many pharmaceutical companies use. For example, Centrum is made by the pharmaceutical company Pfizer. Arguably the most popular kids' vitamin, Flintstone, and the well-known vitamin for adults once a day come from the Bayer Pharmaceutical Company. Another top seller, Theragram M, formerly owned by Bristol-Myers Squibb, was recently acquired by Walgreens, for example. Now, I'm not saying that these large pharmaceutical companies are not capable of making quality vitamins, You be the judge. (laughs) Just take a look at the labels. For example, all the brand names just mentioned use a laboratory-derived folate in their multivitamin. The synthetic form, folic acid, is what they use, and it is not the bioavailable form of methylfolate. In addition, many popular children's vitamins tend to use sugars like glucose, fructose, and even synthetic artificial sweeteners like sucralose, among other unnatural ingredients. The bottom line, with supplements, like with your food, you need to read the label. Both quality and sourcing of the ingredients used matter just as they do with food. So don't forget to do this. You may be surprised by what you find. Beyond passing the ingredients and label tests, you must also... Make sure the supplement manufacturers you choose employ good manufacturing processes or good manufacturing practices, GMPs for short. Make sure the products are also third-party validated and tested for quality, purity, potency, and lack of contaminants. Some labels may include the USP, which is the U.S. Pharmacopeal Convention or NSF certification, or you may look for a verification through websites such as labdoor.com and consumerlabs.com. Do a little research, read the label, and don't buy the first thing that pops up on Amazon, social media, or anywhere else on the internet. I found that many forms of sugar and artificial colors or sweeteners are present in many vitamins, both children and adult versions. So once more, from the rooftops, read the labels. Don't assume that just because you bought it from a vitamin store or website that it is of good quality and sourced well. Instead, look for supplements that are organic, non-GMO, gluten-free, without additives, fillers, artificial colors, sweeteners, flavors, or preservatives, and preferably sourced in a country or location you are familiar with and trust. And with that being said, let's now dive into some of my favorite supplements that pack the most punch. So that's just a little teaser for the intro to my supplement chapter in my book, Preventable, right here. Five powerful practices to avoid disease and build unshakable health. And I'm going to tell you that it's kind of been a little one of my uh, my interesting sort of uh, trips on vacation. If we're cruising through a shopping mall or you know, there's a vitamin store that that uh, pops up, whether it be a big name store like GNC Vitamin Shop or or whatever is out there, even local shops and things. I love to go in and look at what they've got. And I read the labels. You have to read the labels. Like today, I shared a, <laughs> a post over on Instagram about something I found at Costco. And it said in big, bold letters, organic. And it looked really healthy. I flipped the thing over And one of the first ingredients was organic soybean oil and then organic sunflower oil and organic canola oil all in this same product. I don't care that these things are organic. Sunflower, safflower, soybean, canola oil will always be highly manufactured, industrialized oils. They're just simply not good for you. They are seed oils. They are horrendous for your health, organic or not organic. They're terrible. If you have a moment, just check out on YouTube how these things are made. The seed oils are treacherous. They are of the, oh my goodness, most inflammatory substances known to man. The big three, one of those big three I tell folks to avoid day in and day out, are these seed oils. And if you don't read the label, who knows? You might even find them in your supplements. 
you got to be reading the labels because I have been, well, I shouldn't say surprised. I, I, I just think it's interesting because, you know, these big name companies, they, you know, I talked about one just a few weeks ago when we talked about the Omega 3s which are so crucial, so critical for brain health. There's even one on the market. It's changed hands between a variety of different pharmaceutical companies, but it's not even as good as what you can get in a natural supplement. And we talked about this in the podcast. It's it's not the right form. You actually don't absorb it as well. And they, you know, they throw all these buzzwords. Well, this is uh you know, this one, because it's produced by a pharmaceutical, it's regulated and blah, blah, blah. And it's actually less effective. So there's a lot of things that go into reading the label and making sure you vet your supplements. And so for me, as a physician, I was pretty hardcore. And, uh, you know, several years back, my wife started to take a certain line of supplements. And I was like, heck, no, I'm not going to waste my money because I'm going to get all of my vitamins, minerals, micronutrients. I'm going to get all of that from food. (laughs) What I didn't realize was that I had a deficiency in a few things like magnesium, like omega-3, like vitamin D, several things that are critical, crucial for your health. And I didn't have the most amazing insulin sensitivity. I was actually, frankly, insulin resistant, which almost nine out of 10 of us are present day. And that's not something to be proud of, right? You guys, uh, especially those that are reading my book, Preventable, you'll know that insulin resistance is sadly one of the most common health conditions out there. And it may be at the root of so many things. In fact, a good friend who wrote the book called uh, Why We Get Sick, Benjamin Bickman, he's a PhD um, here in, in the state of Utah. He and I had a great chat on a previous podcast all about insulin resistance and how to beat that, become insulin sensitive so we can not have so much darn inflammation going on in our body so we can have great blood sugar balance, great control of our glucose, not get fat because insulin makes us fat. You may remember that from a previous podcast. Insulin literally is what makes us fat. And if we don't have our insulin working properly and it's not balanced and we're not sensitive to it, not only will we be potentially overweight, like almost seven out of 10 Americans are present day, which is a tragedy, but we may also have chronic inflammation because these go hand in hand. Insulin resistance and chronic inflammation go hand in hand, and it is not awesome. And so actually one of my favorite supplements, uh, many of you know about it. In fact, if you're watching over there on YouTube, you'll see that it was this drink that I've been drinking. It actually helps me so much maintain good insulin sensitivity, keeps my blood sugar balanced. So I have energy all throughout the day and I don't have these big dips. Like I talked about in the podcast with Dr. Bickman, many of us are, are getting these dips. You know, we'll have a, after we eat, we'll have a hypoglycemic event, maybe one to two hours later. And we have no energy. We're like, holy crap, where did my energy go? And then you feel like you got to reach for something with carbohydrates because that's, you know, sort of the quick energy. And then what happens you know, one to two hours later, it happens again. And it's actually documented. It's a real deal. And those doctors out there that haven't seen it or don't recognize it, it is a real deal where you have this postprandial or after eating postprandial hypoglycemia related to insulin sensitivity issues. And and it's crazy, but it's real. I used to have it. My energy was up and down and all across the map. And I was not very insulin sensitive. And one of the supplements that I take, it actually has chromium in it, which has been actually studied, been peer reviewed. There's actually been uh, randomized controlled trials on that particular uh, product that I use because it shows how this can help maintain a good steady blood sugar. And it's, it's a go-to for me each and every day because it keeps my energy high. Even right now, I'm sitting here in this chair and I'm doing the Tony Robbins thing and I'm full of energy, even sitting because this helps me so much. And it's, it's just important in this present day, 2023, there are going to be some gaps out there. We will have gaps in our nutrients if we're not adding a few high potency uh, important supplements. And in my book here, Preventable, I have a whole chapter on supplements. Maybe I'll read a little bit more of it on a future podcast. I just wanted to give this as a little teaser and a little bit of my approach to supplementation, which is always a food first approach. I do everything that I can to get my nutrients from the food I eat. And I strive to get 
all organic. It's not always possible. <laughs> in fact, at Costco today, man, I was so tempted. I was out there. I was looking at all these luscious looking blueberries and strawberries. And, and I looked at the label. They were not organic. So what did I do? I left them there. I love berries, but I'm not willing to sacrifice all the pesticides that come with non-organic berries. If you are familiar with the uh, Dirty Dozen <laughs> and the Clean 15, these come from a group called the Environmental Working Group. Check out their website, ewg.org. Super cool group. They have a, a couple of quick slides that you can print out or just make a quick list of what are the top foods to avoid due to high, high, high pesticide content. And one of them are the berries. They're part of that dirty dozen, if you will. And so I don't buy non-organic berries. I leave them on the shelf, even though I love berries. And in fact, I just bought my favorite high protein uh, yogurt. And I'm not going to be able to throw berries on top, sadly, because they didn't have any organic ones. And they, they go in and out of stock. And I just, I'm a little bit of a princess when it comes to organic berries. I'm only going to buy organic. There's some foods, like if it's an avocado or it's an orange or it's a food that I'm not eating the peel, you know, if it has a thick peel on it and I peel that thing off and I throw it in the garbage, I can buy a non-organic avocado or an orange or even a banana, for example. Today, I bought the organic bananas because, you know, they weren't that much more expensive and they had them. I bought a whole, you know, um, a whole dozen or whatever and it wasn't that expensive over at Costco. And so buy organic when you can and especially if it's any of these dirty dozen uh, lists that comes out with the ewg.org, check out their website. And then the Clean 15, these are uh, ones that you can afford to eat uh, non-organic, and they tend to be the ones with a thick peel or rind that you get rid of because you're not eating that part. So check it out. Um, shameless plug for them. I don't get any kickbacks from them, but I just think they're a great website, a great, um, great resource because it's hard sometimes to find all organic food. If you got a local farmer's market, oh my gosh, you are so lucky. Um, where I am present day up in the mountains, we don't have a local uh, market up here, but whenever I get the chance to, I try to visit them. Oh my gosh, when I was in Mexico last week, it was so much fun. I got to eat local guava, or as they say in uh, Espanol, guayaba. And what was so cool about it, it was actually quite a bit different than the Hawaiian guava that I was used to. It was more of a yellowish color. It was a little bit more tart, not quite as sweet, but still uh, loved it so much. They had dragon fruit as well, had some fruit that I just hadn't eaten in a while, and it was so much fun. I love to visit local markets. I love to eat the local varieties. I had a bunch of papaya, had piña, which is pineapple. Um, yeah, so many good, uh, colorful, colorful fruits, vegetables. Ah, it was amazing. And uh, so always eat the rainbow, eat all the colorful foods, and make sure to get the best quality that you can and do your best. You know, if you can get organic, please try. If you can't, uh, pay attention to those lists, the Clean 15 and the Dirty Dozen that EWG.org uh, puts out there for you. And just remember, with supplements, if you're going to be uh, supplementing, make sure you read the label because it's amazing what they'll sneak in there. I mean, kids' vitamins, they're hugely popular that have fructose. Like fructose, as you guys know, if you've listened to my podcast on liver disease, the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which is literally overtaken Every other cause of liver disease causing the most transplants, liver transplants, present day, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which is basically nearly 100% preventable. One of the key, key players in the cause of this is too much fructose. Usually it's in the form of things like high fructose corn syrup and any soda or juices or other things that sadly our kids are <laughs> exposed to each and every day. Like I, I think many of you know right now, 70% of kids' diets right now are composed of not just processed, but ultra processed foods. It's super sad. It's crazy. It just pains me because I got six kids. And like if they weren't eating at home with me, most of the stuff that would be available to them would be this ultra processed foods. And I know it because I see the menus at the school. Like they have this, what do they call this weird, like uh, peanut butter and jelly thing. It's not like even a sandwich. It's like some thing that says this ball. I don't know. It looks like a pie or something. I, I forget the name. My kids could tell you, but, but like, this is not real food. <laughs> this is ultra processed food. And we need to do our best because if we are parents, probably we're buying the food, right? So the buck stops with us. We need to make sure to get the highest quality food available. And then 
will probably still, in fact, frankly, today you will, as Dr. Mark Hyman stated in that quote I shared, you will need to supplement because it is basically impossible present day to get everything that you need just from the food you eat. Basically impossible. And so it's okay, just put it as part of your food budget and never look back because when you start feeling really good, because you are getting the vitamins, minerals, micronutrients you need, like the omegas, the vitamin D, the D3K2 we talked about uh, recently in a podcast. You're getting enough iodine to make sure your thyroid's working well. You're getting, you know, all of these things. The magnesium, my favorite mighty mineral, right, that's involved in like 600 plus reactions in your body. When you get these things in a appropriate level, not just a quote unquote normal level, but in an optimized level, right? Because we don't just want to be normal. Right now, present day, normal, right here at home in the US of A, sadly, normal means you're sick. Normal means you are not healthy. Normal means you are overweight, that you have insulin resistance. This is not what we want. We want optimal. We want optimal. We want to thrive, not just simply survive. So I hope you found some value here. Uh, reach out to me if you have any questions at dr. 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 Thomas Hemingway or email me at aloha, A L O H A, surf, S U R F, aloha surf, doc, D O C, at gmail.com. I'd love to give you more information. If you want to join and be part of this upcoming, well, actually, we just started last week this 60 day coaching. Uh, that my wife Brooke and I are doing. It is amazing. It is a small group, only 30 people max. There's a couple of spots left and it is an amazing group to be a part of. If you want more information on that, reach out to me. I'd love to have you get in there. It's such a cool, cool opportunity and ah, so much fun. So thank you for being a part of this movement. Thank you for being a part of this Unshakable Health podcast. Thank you for getting a copy of my book, Preventable, for making a review over there on Amazon for sharing it out, for sharing out the podcast, dropping reviews, for letting me know like uh, this young lady Heather did this week. She just messaged me over on Facebook and I just so appreciate you. I love to hear from you. And this is the real deal. I read all my messages. I don't have anybody checking my Instagram or Facebook. I actually do it all myself. And so if I'm reaching out to you, that's because I did it. I don't have uh, uh, chat GPT doing it. None of that. I don't use any of that. I don't have... Uh, an assistant doing my Instagram. That's actually me. And so love you guys. I love that you're supporting this content, that you're sharing it. Please share, share this episode, share any episode of the Unshakable Health Podcast. Share my book because this is what moves the needle. This will help you to thrive, not just simply survive your life. And this is what we're interested in. We want you to have that joy. We want you to be jumping out of your chair in excitement. Even if you got a broken ankle like I do, you're going to be bubbly. You're going to be vibrant. You're going to be vital and just thriving in life. And that's what I want for each and every one of you. So thank you for being part of this. Thank you for letting me know. I read all your comments, I read all those reviews, and I'm just tickled and I am grateful. So until next time, aloha. Thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss out. Aloha.